Hey everybody and welcome back to APK Wednesday, the number one place to find the best mobile apps and games to add to your Oculus Quest. As always, I took in your guys' suggestions along with my own research to come up with another great APK that you can use on your Quest. Leave a comment down below with an app you would like to see next week and don't forget to subscribe so you never miss a video. Without further ado, let's get into the video. So for today's video, I was thinking why not go over basic Android apps that you might want to use on your Quest that you'll have on your phone. These consist of like the calendar app, the clock app, the calculator app, stuff like that. And after going through all of those basic Android apps, the two that I found to be the most useful and the ones that actually worked were the calculator app and the clock app. So once we actually get to those being installed, I'll show you why I found those useful. But yeah, let's get right into it and download these APKs. Okay, first things first, just as always, you're going to need to head down to the description. Click on the two links to open up these two tabs. Once you have had these tabs open, just go up, refresh the page and your downloads will start. Once you have the two APKs, open up SideQuest, make sure your headset is connected like always with the little green dot in the corner. If your headset is connected but you never get the green dot, you can go check out my new video I uploaded about how to turn on developer mode. That should solve that problem. Up in the right hand corner, there should be a little white eye that you can click on. Moving on, once your headset is connected, you can then drag and drop the APKs from your downloads folder and into SideQuest. They will then begin installing and then down at the bottom you should get a little green bar once they have completed. Once they have completed you are good to head to your headset. Once you're on your headset you're going to want to go into your apps, click on the top right where it says all and then scroll down to where it says unknown sources. Click on that and then you're going to want to scroll down to your C's. In your C's, it just so happens to be that that is where you'll find the calculator and the clock because they both start with C. It's weird how they do that, but works out well for the video. First thing we're going to go through is the calculator app. What you can do is you can head into the calculator app and basically the one use I think you might have for it is let's say you're playing Beat Saber, you use no fail and you want to compare your score to someone else's and you don't actually want to leave your headset, just go and open the calculator app, punch in your score, click multiply and then times two, and then you'll get your complete score if no fail wasn't on. Besides for that, you can also change the like actual color of it. You can turn on dark mode or just like have it combined with whatever power saving mode you are using. Besides for that, the calculator app, I don't think is too useful to have on your quest. Unlike unlike the clock app which I might find very helpful. The reason for this is you can set a timer. Normally the clock would not matter, you have a clock in the bottom left hand side of your headset, you don't need it, but the timer is something that Oculus doesn't have already built in. The great thing about this timer is it'll run past you playing a game. So we're going to start it up now, we're going to now set it to 10 minutes. Once it's at 10 minutes, we're going to go and we're going to play a little bit of Beat Saber. When we come back, the timer should have dropped. So this can be super helpful if let's say you only have a limited time or you have somewhere to be. You don't have to set an external timer, you can just have it buzz in the headset. If you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure you smash that like button and subscribe so you never miss an APK Wednesday. And yeah, I'll see you on the next one. Peace out everybody, join my discord, bye.